So this video was uh, recorded at uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. It was in a uh, kind of a small, probably light industrial park type area. Uh, sort of on the outskirts of uh, town. And so it's uh, kind of a partly cloudy day. I think a storm uh, may have blown through a little bit earlier and it rained maybe just a little bit, probably not enough to get anything wet. But uh, now right here I'm delaying. I had a dialog box kind of pop up on the screen and I had to kind of figure out how to get rid of it. So still familiarizing myself with the uh, DJI uh, Go 4 app. And uh, so I rotated around. Uh, you can see there's a crane boom right there. And I still haven't uh, experimented to see exactly you know what the limit is on the height. Uh, I went higher than the crane boom this time. This is probably the highest I've ever flown the drone. Uh, at some point I'm going to have to try uh, going as high as it'll go. Uh, to the point, you know, because it's supposed to limit that the drone itself and the software is supposed to limit, <coughs> excuse me, how high there's a, like a flight ceiling. So, uh, but even where I had it, it that's up pretty high. Uh, I don't know how many feet it was, but it's uh, it was it was up there. And as I say, it was higher than the street lamps and higher than the. Uh, green boom and as I've said before uh, I think once I uh, get the uh, separate controller I'll probably uh, hopefully feel a little bit more uh, <coughs> confident uh, con kind of confident with it uh, as opposed to the way I'm flying it right now using the phone as the controller and uh, just through the, the phone's ability to connect with the drone via Wi-Fi through the open air. And of course here I'm still I'm kind of reluctant to fly the drone uh, to areas where I can, can no longer physically see it. Uh, that's the other uh, thing that uh, I find a little uh, constraining personally is uh, you know I don't really want to fly it to a point where I can't physically see it any longer, uh, even though I can still see the video ostensibly. So, uh, just kind of flying around this little area here, uh, up and down the street a little bit. Of course, today is July the 4th, and a lot of the, these businesses were uh, closed, and uh, so I was just kind of on the street, basically, sort of the street. Uh, there was no very little traffic on that street so uh, and all these businesses were pretty much closed today so it was kind of a, a natural place to go and just kind of fly the drone kind of casually for a few minutes so uh, but again I'm really impressed with the video the quality of it the stability of it uh, the clarity of it the way it uh, Kind of captures the overall color balance. Uh, of course, I had it on uh, automatic. Uh, everything was set to automatic. Uh, you can see there's a fellow there in the street, but he uh, didn't know if he was watching or I think what it ended up being, he was waiting for someone to come pick him up. I think that must have been one business or at least one employee. Uh, that was there today that uh, he was w waiting because later on uh, someone in a car actually came and picked him up but I did notice him there a couple of times kind of standing there and again I don't I didn't know if he was uh, sort of watching or not because I was at one point I was going to walk on down the street uh, with you know kind of following the drone and uh, then I saw him standing there and I uh, ended up kind of coming back 
<laughs> so, uh, but I, you know, again, he probably, I'm sure he heard the drone or saw that we were flying it. Uh, so, but a friend uh, came and picked me up here in Lincoln and then we went to eat and then afterwards we uh, uh, flew the drone for about, you know, about 10 minutes or so. And, uh, and this is the footage. This is the resulting footage. So uh, there's not a whole lot more to say about it. Uh, you know, again, I kind of, uh, the more I use this, the more comfortable I get with it. Uh, what I'd like to do in the future is sort of develop uh, a little bit better, you know, I need to watch more drone videos, especially the more cinematic ones, because it would be nice to be able to develop, uh, uh, you know, kind of sim cinematic uh, drone uh, photography techniques as far as approaching approaching items, passing by items, uh, passing by buildings, uh, etc. And a lot of that, I think, just comes with uh, more practice. The more you know, the more I practice with it, the more uh, comfortable I can become with it, and then I can kind of figure out what it can do and what it can't do. And the, the what something can't do is often uh, just as important as what it can do, and that's that's certainly true with uh, a lot of things. You figure out what it can't do, then you kind of know what it can do and uh, sort of maximize on those uh, capitalize on the strengths of what it, something can do so uh, but if I was more adver adventurous I would have uh, kind of flown it across the top of a roof or something but then again if something were to go wrong uh, and the drone ended up on the roof then there I'd be with you know how are you going to get on the roof you know, because the roof is someone else's property. You know, you hear these stories about people trying to retrieve their drones from trees or roofs on other people's properties. Uh, you know, I would rather not uh, put myself in that kind of position. So I prefer not to fly it uh, on other, you know, over, even really over other people's property very much. as opposed to, you know, like a street out in the street or more of an open field type place. Or, you know, I could see, you know, like some public parks, if they allow drone flights, uh, those kind of places could be interesting. So, uh, but you can see the, you know, it's mostly cloudy at this point and the sun really isn't going down yet, uh, but, the sky certainly uh, kind of looks looked interesting anyway. So uh, getting close to landing, uh, I did one of the things I did right before I landed it. That's going to be coming up is that I uh, sort of uh, flew it very close to the ground, sort of close to the grass, the tops of the grass, uh, where, you know where the grass was cut and. Uh, that always makes for a kind of an interesting video, you know, kind of skimming over the top of something. And uh, I would like to do more of that type of photography, kind of develop that style a little bit there. You can see me with my friend in his car. So there I'm kind of flying it over the top of the uh, grass, you know. So it's kind of like you have the movies where they kind of fly over the top of a field or something in a helicopter. Of course, nowadays they're probably doing it with a drone and not a helicopter, because a drone makes more sense, uh, makes far more sense to get aerial shots like that. So there, there we uh, went, wanted to make sure I didn't hit his car, and uh, I think I'm getting ready to land it here. We're getting close to the end of the video, so we should start. Uh, descending here at any second there we go so there was a dump truck that was a couple of dump trucks that were parked there on the uh, that little side street 
and we're about to land so join me in the next video